Bad news. A big nuclear missile is aimed at us. A nuclear missile has launched toward us? It's only one hour until impact. We're in danger. We've got just an hour to build fallout shelters and safely evacuate. We gotta hurry! We need to build safe shelters to protect our families. If your shelter fails, I want you to know you can always come hide in mine. You and your family are like family to me. Let's get started! Thank you, Mikey! Hmm. I need to start building a shelter for my family. First, I'll use this drill to dig a hole over here. It has to be deep underground to withstand a nuclear missile. This should be deep enough. I'm gonna set up a slime block layer to jump down on to absorb damage. Now that there's a layer of bouncy slime down here, it'll be safe to jump down and get to our underground bunker quickly and easily. The next step is to dig on this side to make the tunnel to the hatch. Alright, that's almost far enough. I should check up on Mikey. Hey, Mikey! Hmm? How's your shelter going? Hey, JJ! Check this out! Isn't it great? I dug out this big open space! Doesn't it look great? It's gonna be the ultimate perfect fallout shelter! I hope yours is going well, too! Thanks, Mikey! I'm working on it! Now I need to dig out this space for my shelter. I'll use a command to clear it instantly. Yes! Perfect! Next, I should replace the sides of this shelter with blocks that are sturdier. With another command here, I'll change it all to obsidian. Then, inside of the obsidian layer, I'll use blocks of quartz. If I double layer this shelter like this, it will be able to withstand a powerful nuclear missile. There we go! For the entrance to the shelter, I'm gonna need something super sturdy. All right, I'll hook up the redstone circuit from the outside. That's working perfectly. Then, I'll hook up a lever so I can shut it from the inside. Awesome! Now I can open it from the inside and outside. I'll just close this up. There's the finished entrance area. So, what's next? I'll need to set up this place so we can live down here for hundreds of years. I'll start by making the lobby a little fancier. Once the missile hits, we'll need to live down here for the rest of our lives. So the shelter should be as comfortable as possible. Hmm, that's already so much nicer. Now that the shelter's lobby is finished, I'll start working on the lower levels. Awesome! The most important thing for survival is food, so we'll need a place to eat. This can be the dining area. It's perfect! This dining room will be a great place for my family to relax together. So, for the floor beneath this, I'm thinking that a cooled storage area with a huge stock of food supply would be good. I'll use ice for the walls. Building it this way will keep the food cool and let us store it for a long time without it going bad. Alright, it's done. Now I just have to stock it with a lifetime of food. Okay, that looks like about a hundred years worth of food. There's a big variety, so we shouldn't go hungry. Let's see, what's next? 
And this floor is... Finished. Next up, I want to make a spa-like bathing area and bathrooms so we can unwind. I'll start by making walls. This'll be the tub. And over here, the bathrooms. All right, the bathroom is complete and this shelter is turning out great. Now for this floor. There we go. I'm envisioning this as a nice relaxing bedroom. For that, I'll need a big comfy bed. I'll put some fancy lamps and a few flowers. Then I'll put a television here. Now that's what I call a bedroom. My family and I are really going to be comfortable here. Okay, time to work on the next floor. That's the last block. But what should I do with this room? I know. I've been worried about Mikey. In case his shelter fails, I'll have them stay with me. So, I'll make a bedroom for Mikey and his family. It's awesome! This room will be perfect for Mikey and his family. Now they can live pretty comfortably here. I'll move on to the next floor. There we go. What should this one be? Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Since we're going to be living underground now, I want to make a gym where we can train and exercise to stay healthy. All right, it's finished. There is a variety of workout machines so we can stay fit. Now that we have a gym, I should make a swimming pool next. This whole floor will be the pool. This will be the deeper pool for adults. And this side will be the kiddie pool. Sweet! So, what else? Here's an idea. It'll make the pool even more refreshing. Over on this side, I'll set up a projector to show pretty scenery. Now we'll put the power supply over here. Whoa! It worked! With this beachy view, it really feels like an outdoor pool. That's so much nicer. Hang on, I forgot something important. An entertainment room. I need to hurry up. On this floor, I'll quickly make an entertainment room for us. Then on this side, I want to build a little theater so I can watch movies with my family. Wow, it's awesome! This room is definitely the best one yet. All these things will keep us entertained for the rest of our lives. With all this done, I want to make an elevator that hope he's okay and that he's made a shelter. Mikey, hey, how's it going? Huh? Oh, JJ! I was just working on the roof of my shelter. It's almost done, see? Uh, uh. Oh, this is your shelter? Yep. Isn't it great? Shouldn't it be deeper? Deeper? Why? It's already underground. Can I see inside? Yeah, of course! Come over here! Here's the entrance! Ta-da! What do you think? Oh, well, it's a bit cramped. Really? Is that cobblestone? That's right! Mikey, I'm sorry, but I don't think you can survive in this shelter. What do you mean? You're worrying way too much! You can hide in my shelter if you want. I even made beds for you guys! 
eyes. Thank you, Mikey, but hold on. <laughs> sure. Phew, we managed to survive the nuclear missile. Oh, JJ, your shelter is the best. It's way better than the one I built. I should have brought my family here in the first place. It has everything. It's perfect. Hey, let's go to the entertainment room and watch some movies together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Did he say the world is going to be covered in toxic sludge? In a few hours? What? Mikey! Huh? This is bad! What is it? Listen, in a few hours, the world is going to be covered in toxic sludge! We gotta go! Come on! What? No! I'm not ready yet! I don't wanna go! JJ, I'm scared! Hey. Yeah? Don't give up hope just yet. We can still find a way to survive. What can we do? Let's figure this out together. Take a look. See the overworld? Yeah? Everything up here will be covered in toxic sludge. Okay. So, the plan is we will build a safety shelter underground. Oh, that makes sense. We have to get started on our shelter right away. We only have a few hours. All right. Our house already has a basement, so... Wait a sec. Huh? I almost forgot. What is it? See this house? We should warn our neighbor that lives here. Right. He may not have heard the news, so let's tell him. Hello? Oh! Hey! Hello! Just so you know, the world is going to be ending soon. You might want to build a shelter soon and hide in there. Huh? Uh... What? He doesn't believe what we're saying. Oh, but it's true! You can come stay in our shelter with us, okay? Whoa! Ouch! Hey! We were just trying to be nice, so don't hurt us! Oh. Uh. Well, we can't do anything about that. He's free to make his choice. Let's just focus on our shelter, okay? Yeah, okay. Maybe the neighbor thinks we're pulling a mean prank on him. Anyway, let's start building. So, our basement is right here. You just pull on this lever to open the bookshelf. Like this. See? Whoa! There's a hidden passage, and then... Here it is. This leads into the basement. Now, before we check it out, you should know, we haven't been down here for a long time. It might be messy. If you're ready, let's go! Here we go! Ooh! All right! Wow! Well, here it is. It's gotten pretty bad down here, huh, Mikey? We'll clean it up before we make our shelter. Okay. I really hope this shelter protects us. It's our best bet. We only have a few hours, so let's get started. Let's get to work! Let's see what we have in storage. Oh, okay. Hmm? Everything we need to start working is in this chest. Let's take it. Definitely. Okay, so our first task... Oh? Let's clean up this mess. There are spider webs everywhere. Good idea. Almost done. There. Nice! If the surface is covered in toxic sludge, we might have to spend a long, long time down here. Let's give ourselves more space. Right. We'd go crazy after the first week in a small space. Yeah. Hmm. This digging. It's taking a while. Okay, Mikey. I brought some TNT. Why? It'll cut down on our digging time. Let's try it. Oh? Awesome! Great! Next up, let's load some TNT into these walls, too. Another one right here. Okay. Now back up. Oh! Wow! Nice! 
It's much roomier. Yep. Now we can fix up the ceiling. Okay. Mm -hmm. We only have a few hours left. We gotta hurry. Let's pick up the pace. We don't have much time. It's gonna be bad on the surface. Terrible. This shelter might be our home for a few years. You think so? Probably. There. Just a little more. Almost. That should do it! Yay! It's a lot bigger! We can definitely live in here. It's perfect! Even if the surface does get covered, we'll be safe in here, right? Well, I appreciate your optimism, but we might not be able to leave this bunker. We'll be here the rest of our lives. A big empty room won't cut it, will it, Mikey? Right. That means we'll need food and water if we don't want to starve to death. I was just trying to look on the bright side. That sounds awful. Let's get to work. We'll make an infinite water source down here. The spring will go here. And we have some water already. Yep. I'll pour it in here like this. You can take as much water as you want now. Good! Now we have a water supply. All that's left is food, which is a little tricky. Let's make a small, sustainable farm. Oh! We'll have to plan it out well. So we can stay self-sufficient down here in our new home. Yeah! Clear this section out. Like this. Then we can fill it in with soil. Looks good! Pack the dirt. Then the water can go in the back here. Plow the soil. Alright! Next, we need to plant some seeds. Okay! Our farm will have to grow by torchlight down here. They'll go all around. Good idea. Thanks. This watermelon looks tasty, but I'll turn it into seeds. Oh? Let's plant carrots, potatoes, and watermelon. Sounds great. I'll plant them. Oh. How's that? Yeah, okay. You're done? Yep. Which means that should do it for the farm. Now we have all our necessities covered. Forever. Yeah. <gasps> so we did it. It's perfect. We can survive. It's all done. Now all that's left is to grab the furniture in the house and bring it to the bunker. It's a little dreary down here. Seriously? We only have about an hour left. There's no time to waste. Just grab everything you can carry. I got the beds. Okay. Got those. Wood. The chairs and stuff. The table? Definitely. I'll get the TV. And the kitchen. Grab it all. Alright! Let's take the fridge with us. And we can't forget this. What is it? The bathroom, of course. <laughs> Good idea. Definitely. Is that all? Yep. Back to the basement. Let's set up the kitchen first. Yeah. The fridge can go here. What else is there? The TV? Maybe over there? Yeah, over here looks great. This feels better already. It sounds like it's letting up. It's all over. Sheesh. But it looks like our shelter... Yeah? ...is holding up. There's no sludge leaking in. Looks like we're in the clear. Thank goodness! But I'm still worried about our neighbor. Same. Should we go out there and check up on him? That doesn't sound safe, JJ. Won't the toxic sludge infect us? It will be safe if we wear hazmat suits. Oh! Here they are. If we put these suits on, then we should be able to go outside. Okay! 
Ready, Mikey? Yep. These should protect us, but we can't stay out there for too long. Let's go save our neighbor. Let's go! Okay, I'm climbing up. Me too! We're going outside. I'm scared. I'm terrified. I mean, is it even safe? I don't know. Let's find out. Whoa. <gasps> it's... very, very purple. Is it okay? I'm just glad we have these hazmat suits. Ready? Ow! Whoa! It's really covered! Ah! Don't worry, we should be okay for now. But I'm not sure how long these suits will last. It's everywhere! Aw, oh, look at our house! Aww! It's awful. Oh, right! Do you see our neighbor anywhere? I don't think so. Huh? Hang on. What? Ah! It looks like he's being attacked by some weird creatures. What are they? Are you okay? Hello? Run away. Try to follow my voice. Hurry. Ugh. Hello? Come over here. Is he okay? Huh? Oh? No. Oh! He, he's down. What? He's gone! Wait, they're coming for us now! Hurry! Huh? Get in the shelter! Now! Run away! Go! Hurry, Mikey! <laughs> Shut the Well, here we are again. Today we want to build a super special security tower. Let's do it! Security tower? Sounds like a lot of fun! Here's the plan. Mikey and I will each make our own security tower. Then we'll have our towers face off in a strategy showdown. Wow! Awesome! I'll go build mine now. Great. Just so you know, Mikey, we're building ours separately. Let's each make our own security tower. Let's go! I'll build mine further away. All right. Somewhere around here. Okay, let's build. Mine's gonna rock. There we have it. Let's begin. Good. I wonder how it'll turn out. This looks like a perfect location for me to build my tower. I think I'll build it with iron blocks. I thought I saw Mikey building his with dirt. My iron blocks will be a lot better. I'll use a command. Oh, I built my tower so fast, I can't even see the top. Whoa, Mikey's really trying. Now then, let's see. Hmm. I'll put the entrance somewhere over on this side. There we go. Okay. Whoever gets to the top of the security tower wins. This door is a good start, but I want to add even more security to the entrance. I'll make this a fake door. It's a classic dummy trap. If you try to get in through this door, you immediately fall into the lava. You might not be able to tell it's fake at first. If you're running in with some momentum, you'll definitely fall into the lava pool. Okay, since I created a fake entrance, I should probably create a real entrance too. For this next part, I need four ingredients. Sticky pistons, redstone torches, redstone dust, and redstone repeaters. Now that I have all of those, I'll make a super easy secret entrance. I'll open it like this. Hmm, now then. Let's see. I'm gonna make something like this. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Now I'll place some iron blocks around here. Terrific! Don't forget to cover the top! Here, this looks like a good spot to put redstone torches. Nice! Now, I'll place the repeater here with a two-second delay. The last thing I need to do is connect it all with some redstone dust, and then my secret entrance will be complete. Wait a sec, something's not right here! Okay, it's done. Now it's time to shift my focus to where I set up the redstone torch. This section right over here. I'll install a button on this wall. I know, I'll use a birch button so it's harder for intruders to notice. Once that's finished, the only way to activate the hidden door will be through this button. Ta-da! All right, the fake security entrance is complete. Wow, check out Mikey's tower. 
Now I'll explain how my entrance works. First, when you open the fake door, you fall into lava. As for the real door, as soon as you hit this hidden button, the secret entrance opens up and you can enter through here. I'll clean this area up a bit. There, that's better. I have to hide this circuit. And cover this up. Okay, all done. Yes! Remember, when you arrive at the top of the other person's tower, you win the security tower competition. I guess that means the only way to make it fair is if I install a ladder extending upwards in my tower. This will be the only way for Mikey to climb up. I'll climb up the ladder while I build it. It has to be pretty high. That looks good. I think that works. Now then, let's see. I'll make the second floor here. This is stage two. Okay, it's finished. Now, what should I add to the second floor? Oh, I know. This can be the place for a zombie security system. Where should I set it up? Somewhere around here? I'll put the zombie generator here. Let's see. I think this will work. I'll place a treasure chest here. Huh, this looks like a good spot for a button. Now I just need a sign. I have to write something that'll make Mikey want to push the button no matter what. Don't push. It's human nature to want to push buttons you're not supposed to. Now that I'm sure he'll push it, it's time to set up a little zombie surprise for him when he does. Yeah, that looks right. Something like this for the redstone torches. That's perfect. Right here. That should work. Now it's time to make a circuit like this. I'll also make good use of these repeaters. There we go. Now that I've connected everything, I'm finally able to complete my redstone circuit. Next, I have to set up the dispensers. All right, I'm gonna put as many zombie spawn eggs as I can in here. Now I'll sprinkle a bit of redstone dust on top and that should complete the trap. If you press the button, the signal will course through the circuit and release a whole bunch of angry zombies from the dispensers. <laughs> okay, all done. My zombie surprise device is finally complete. Next, I'll cover up the redstone circuit. Just press the button once and the zombies will gush out endlessly. I think this trap will be super powerful. What next? I probably should leave some equipment for Mikey inside this treasure chest. It'll be a nice little treat. I'll leave him something really awesome that'll actually be useful. I think I'll throw in an iron sword, an iron helmet, an iron chest plate, iron leggings, and finally some iron boots. While we're at it, why not give him some golden apples? I think five golden apples should be a big enough reward for him. There, my second security system is complete. Stage two is ready to go, so I'll start working on stage three. This is the tower that I built. I wonder what you put at the top. Yeah? Let's go! Give it a try. All right, looks fun. Mm-hmm. Like mine, your entrance is really obvious. Are you sure that's not a mistake? It's fine, Mikey, but be careful. This is still a security tower. Hmm. It has a lot of security. It's a security tower with a simple entrance? So I can just walk in, no problem? Mm-hmm. Okay then, here goes. Great. Open. Wait a minute! Huh? That's dangerous! What? Impressive! I'm surprised that you noticed it. This means that there must be another entrance then. You caught on pretty quick, didn't you? Well, Mikey, go look for the other entrance. Huh? Water? Hmm. <laughs> What's this? Huh? What are you thinking? It's gone! There is no entrance! I circled around the whole tower! <laughs> go take another look. Again? Yep. Hmm. Look carefully at the side I'm standing on. Hmm? 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 Oh! 
Oh? I saw it from afar! There's a button! Should I press it? Sure, go ahead. Three, two, one. A hidden door? What the? Ouch! You have to enter right away. Yes, I'm in! Wow, I'll be honest. I didn't expect you to get past this lava trap, Mikey. It was close! You got into my tower safe and sound. Great! Keep going. I wonder what's on the second floor. I'll check it out. Please continue up the ladder, Mikey. What could possibly be waiting up there? I can't wait to find out. There. Open. Oh. This is the second floor. Check out the chest. Wait, there's treasure in here? I don't see anything too suspicious. I'll still be careful, though. Sure. Three, two, one. Whoa! Are you sure that I can just take this? Huh? What? Whoa! This is so cool! This equipment and these golden apples are a gift from me to you. Thank you! I'm so happy! What's next? Climb these stairs? Hmm. I'm curious. Hmm. This button says don't push. Interesting. You'd better not push it then, since it says so. I'm sure I'll be fine against whatever comes at me. I'm strong. I'll push it. Push it if you want to. Your choice. I think it'll be good. Three, two, one. Wait, nothing happened. Oh no! What's this? A zombie? I can defeat it. It's okay. I'm strong. I'm strong. <laughs> yes, I'm super duper strong. Mikey. I Mikey. Got it. Yes. Yes. Too easy. Are you okay? Wait a sec. There's so many of them. <laughs> Ouch! No! 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 Oh, Get away Mikey's from eating me. a golden apple. Unfortunately, the zombies will continue gushing out forever. Wait, hold on. There's too many. Mikey. <laughs> Whoa. What? Smart moves. Crazy. If only you didn't push the don't push button. You should probably escape. You're right, but I have to be careful. Oh, I fell. It's no use. I'm no good at parkour. Hang on. Relax, you can do this! I can't! Ah. You're in trouble! <laughs> no! Don't run too much! No. Don't tell me you're gonna... <laughs> Come on! Yikes. Relax! Help me! Relax, Mikey! Oh no! <laughs> Shoot! Hang in there, Mikey! Yes! Yes! Whoa! Quick, quick. Hurry and climb these stairs. The zombies are still spawning, and they're starting to fall off the ledge. Come on! All right! Yes! 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 This is Whoa. fun! There! I've come this far! I can't leave now! You're right, but don't let your guard down. <sighs> this is actually kind of fun! Oh, great job! Thank you! Mikey, you've cleared stage two. I thought I was finished, but there's something here! <laughs> That's the boss. Careful not to fall off the edge. Good luck. Ah, wait, what the? Whoa, nice. You took down the wither skeleton. That's terrific. So did I clear it? You did. You safely cleared all stages of my security tower. Sweet. You did a lot better than I expected. Now, I have a little reward for you. This one? Yep. Three, two, one. Whoa, look at all those diamonds. I'm giving all of them to you, Mikey. Thank you. This has been so much fun! Congratulations! You made it to the top! I guess we both made it to the top of each other's security towers. Let's go back to the ground. I made a device that will get us down there really easily. Huh? How does it work? You just stand here and press the button. Sure, I'll try. Go! Three, two, one! Awesome! Oh, you disappeared! Cool! I'll go down too. Whoa! This is fun! There you have it! Mikey! Hmm? Mikey! What's up? This is an awesome house! Ah, uh, you really mean that, JJ? Yep! It's pretty cool! <laughs> wow! Not bad! Thanks! Can you guess what I was aiming for when I built it? You wanted to build it floating on top of a coral reef? That's right! Good guess! Fantastic! Take a look at this view! Whoa! I want to live here with you, Mikey! Actually, I have an even better idea! What if we spent the day building a floating house together? Just for the two of us! I know exactly what kind of house I want it to be! What do you say? Huh? Great idea! I can't wait to get started!
Where should we build it? Awesome. Time to build an extravagant, fancy house on the water. I think we should build it above the coral reef. It'll be super scenic. We need it to be somewhere deep, though. How about here? Sure, why not? Let's build it here. First things first, we need to lay the foundation. That's right. We should make it really big. Since we want it to look modern, there's no better block to use than quartz. Keep building it, Mikey. How's this? Woohoo! That looks great. Whoa, is this good for the base? It could be a bit bigger on this side. Oh. That should do it. Wow, the base is done. Next up, we need to make the frame. Let's see, I wonder if this will be wide enough. Oh well, I'm happy with this. What are we working on now? I think I need to make it a bit wider. Keep working on the walls, Mikey. Thanks. Leave it to me, JJ. I want our house to be super nice. This is so exciting. Here's the roof. Hmm. A bit more. There, that should do it. I just need to raise this a bit higher so the house can have two floors. Two floors? Awesome! I know! I can't wait! It's gonna be an epic house. Do you think there are any other fancy floating houses out there? Whoa, I'm already starting to see the outline. The next thing we need is some quartz stairs. I'll get to working on the edges. Here we go. <laughs> Perfect. I like how you're using those. It looks mega fancy. Wow, it's looking really elegant so far. And we've only just begun. Keep up the good work. Let's see here. Hmm. Whoa! Incredible! I'll be expanding the sides by raising them up from the water a little. Are you done? Not yet! <laughs> Not even close! The quartz looks really professional, but I think some acacia wood would liven up the place. I'll make some acacia wood pillars that go from the ground of the first floor to the ceiling of the second floor. That's a nice pillar. Wow. Mm hmm perfect. Okay. Should we make the walls, Acacia? Oh, great idea, Mikey. This is ultra fancy. Wow, it already feels like home. I can't wait to see how it all turns out. I think it's time we added some glass. I'm gonna use these clear glass panes so we can take a look outside even when it's raining. Let's put it right here. This is the perfect spot for a giant glass window to get installed. Totally. Oh, thanks, Mikey. You're a lifesaver. Let's add some windows to the second floor, too. Can this house get any fancier? I know what you mean. This is epic. I just want to move in already. <laughs> the second floor windows need to be filled in. How high do we want them to go? Let's just get them ready for now. Wow, why is it so tough to place them down properly? Make sure you go slow and steady. Slow and steady? Yes. This is the best floating house ever. It's such a cool place to live. Whoa, we're doing really great. Now it's time to put in some stairs going up to the second floor. I'll use some acacia wood slabs. This is tricky. Do it like this. That looks really nice. Whoa, sweet. All done. Good call with the stairs. That should do it for the main parts of the house. We're finished? Awesome! Oh, there's a zombie inside! Oh no! What do we do now? I'll take care of it. Goodbye, zombie. Zombies spawn if it's too dark. We need to install some lights to brighten up the place. I know. How about we hang some lanterns? 
There we go! That's so fancy! Hmm… I'll put two more up here. What else can I use? How about some sea lanterns? Sea lanterns look similar enough to quartz blocks, so we can just place them on the floor. Mm -hmm. This'll be enough to light everything up. Phew! Come on, JJ! Is it finally time to move in yet? Not yet! But at least our house is a bit brighter. Yes! Next on our to-do list is the pool. I want to make a pool and a bathtub. Down here? The pool can go there, and the bathtub will go here. Roger that! I'll make the pool. Then I'll get going on the bathtub. I'm on it! Let's go! All right. The bathtub is done. Already? You finished so fast! Now you can stare out at the scenery from the open-air baths. Plus, it's perfect for stargazing. This is the world's best bathtub! Whoa, Mikey, is this the pool? Great job! Thanks for filling it up! Okay, there we go. You built an excellent pool, Mikey. I can't believe my eyes. This is the coolest house I've ever seen! What should we put on the first floor, Mikey? A living room! Hmm, that sounds perfect. It looks like we might have a bit of a leak, though. We better do something about that. Ugh. We should reinforce it with quartz blocks. The floor is only one block thick. That must be why all the water is leaking through. You can hear all those little drips. And if you look closely, you can even see them too. Drip, drip, drip. Wow, we really gotta fix that. What now? How are we supposed to stop it? Uh, let's place some slabs. Watch this. Whoa! This way, it becomes two blocks thick instead of one. Huh? It's still dripping. I guess we have no choice. We need to reinforce it even more. There's no way this bath is gonna leak now. <laughs> this should work. It's a little strange, but our bathtub is finally finished. That should stop the leaking. Awesome. Our living room is finally dry. Time for us to start decorating it. We should put in a nice big sofa. Sounds good. Maybe something like this? How's that? Hmm, fancy. You can chill on the sofa as you gaze off into the ocean. What a view. What's that? Are you building a table? What color should it be? I want it to be blue. Okay. Whoa. Wow. That's better. Awesome. Oh, I just remembered. We need a kitchen. Let's build it right under the staircase. I'll start by making a cauldron. Mm-hmm. It's smoking. How'd you do that? With a campfire. No way. You built it underground. I put the campfire down and the furnace on top. <laughs> That's genius. Now for the faucet. Guess what I'm making. No clue. You'll figure it out. What is it? Ta-da! Wait, give me a second. <laughs> I think I messed up. I think I can tell what you're making. It's, uh... There! Refrigerator! That's right! Wow, that's perfect, Mikey. Let's see... This looks just like a real kitchen! There, the kitchen's done. It's not very big, though. Woohoo! Well, Mikey, are we finished? What else is there? It's fabulous! I'm afraid there's still a long way to go. I'll explain why. Our house is only above the ocean, not under the ocean. Cause it's all water! We need a basement. For real? Let's get to work. Where should we install? All right, that's a wrap on our beautiful floating ocean house. Ta-da! If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Maybe try to build a floating house. All right, let's get started. Today, we're gonna clear every stage of the Twilight Forest. There are a lot of tough bosses we're gonna have to defeat. Really? Are we gonna be able to beat them all? We're gonna be fine, and that's because... Hmm? This! Inside this chest is the most powerful equipment in the game, and it's all ours. We better get ready. Armor up! Wow! With this, we'll be unstoppable! That's because this is the strongest armor. Take a look at these weapons, too! 
powerful. These weapons are super strong. I guess I should explain how our equipment works. Our armor gives us the ability to fly! Wow, that's incredible! Plus it gives us super speed and a tough defense. That's it. Let's head into the Twilight Forest. Let's go! Go ahead and throw a diamond in there. Sure. Is that how we get there? Three, two, one, go! <gasps> Whoa! Incredible! A portal! Let's go! And we're off! We finally arrived in the Twilight Forest. Oh. This place is a whole different world. There's something here. Hmm? Huh? What? What's this? Oh, Mikey, come here. This is an old lich tower. What's a lich tower? It's like a dungeon. I don't know if you'd call it a temple or something, but at the very top of it, there's an enemy called the lich that we have to defeat. Let's go defeat it. Let's go. Hmm. I don't really know where the entrance is. This is fine. Wow, no way! I broke in! A skeleton! Let's fight! Whoa! Our weapons are some of the most powerful in the game! In that case, we'll totally win! Yeah, this bow makes arrows rain down from above! Nice! Let's go! Okay, let's climb up. To the lich! Oh, it's an enemy book! Can you defeat it? Of course! I think the boss is on the highest floor. Go, go, go! Let's fly there! Oh, looks like we made it to the top. We're here? Wait! Huh? There he is! The Lich King! What? Let's fight! Come on! Get him! Use the bow! A barrier? They're blocking us! Uh-oh! The arrows bounce back! How do we win? Those are shields! They are? So strong! What do we do if we can't beat it? Wait, I got it! Ow! Hit what they're shooting at us with our swords! Huh? We can do that? Look out! Okay. Whoa! Did it work? Their shields went down. They started with five, but the king only has three now! Nice! We can do it! We just need to break the rest of the shields. Okay! Ouch! Uh, we broke one! Two more! Two more. Are those ender pearls? Oh, the shields are down! Oh, wait! Attack! Huh? Huh? What? We beat him! We got a reward! We defeated the boss in one hit, all thanks to the infinite attack power of our swords. We beat the Lich Tower? Let's go to the next one! What items did we get? Oh, these are great! Alright, Mikey, let's keep going. Sure! Look! Wow! What's that? This is the Naga Temple. See that snake down there? It's called a Naga. Oh. That's the boss. Oh. It looks strong. It's attacking. That is one big snake. Whoa, it's quick too. Help! I'm being attacked. I'll use the bow and arrow. Huh? No way. That's really powerful. Wait, where'd it go? I took care of it with my bow. That was quick. Yeah, this weapon is insanely powerful. Too powerful. I won so fast. <laughs> nice job, JJ. We beat the Naga. Let's move on. Check it out. Hmm? Called the Labyrinth. Basically, it's the entrance to a maze. Come on! It looks like trouble. This way. Whoa. Is it safe in there? Yeah. Don't let your guard down, JJ. It looks safe, but I'll stay on guard. This maze looks difficult. Hang on. Huh? Try that. Oh, hang on. There are minotaurs in here. Quick, let's fight them. No. Oh, what's this? They look pretty strong. Yeah, you're right. They're over here, too! Don't wait! The Minotaurs are charging us! I'll attack them with this sword! Wow, I'm strong! Wow, these guys are fast! <laughs> oh, I think we have to jump down here! Oh! Come on! Okay! I'm in! We're so deep! Guide me through this maze, Mikey! Really? Sure! Huh? Wait! Help! This isn't good! Mikey got caught by a stag beetle! Wow, thank you! I saved you! Phew! Now then, where do we go from here? Oh, a minotaur! Take that! <laughs> Uh-oh, it's a slime! Seriously? This is such a breeze for us because of our powerful equipment! Yeah! I'll try this! Black hole! Huh? The black hole sucks up any nearby enemies! What's that? Whoa! Whoa! We won! Okay, let's find the boss. Uh, uh. Hey! Hey! Let go of him! 
Um, another stag beetle. I rescued you. Thanks. Uh-huh. Come on. Oh. What's that? The next boss is in here. The boss? That's right. It's here? It seems different from the other ones. Oh, it's the minnow shroom. I want to run away. Whoa. JJ? Can we win? Uh... Its speed is on another level. Take that. Huh? Wait. We beat it. Nice. Looks like we got a reward. This looks powerful. <laughs> I can't believe I beat it in one hit. Me neither. Since we defeated the labyrinth boss, we can move on. Look at this. Hmm? What is it? It must be some sort of monster's den. Huh? I knew it. A hydra. It looks powerful. It's a three-headed dragon. This'll be tough. Oh, well. Let's attack it with the bow and arrow. What? It doesn't work? It's useless. Oh, there we go. This might be difficult to win. Whoa. The sword! Oh, yeah. Use the sword! Infinite attack power. Huh? Hang on. What's wrong? The sword isn't working. It barely does anything. Why? There's no other choice but the black hole. Right. We have to. I'm throwing the black hole. Go! Huh? Check it out. Rapid fire. Awesome! Get him! Easy! We can beat it! We're so strong! Whoa! What's happening? What's going on? I'll use the bow. Me too! This is great! Whoa! We won? This is unbelievable! No way! We won! The black hole is super powerful. Sweet! <laughs> nice! Now that we beat the Hydra, let's go to the next boss. Let's go! Mikey, this looks like the entrance to a Goblin Knight stronghold. We may run into some Goblin Knights soon. All you have to do is place the head of the last boss you defeated onto this pedestal here and... It opens! That's right. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Huh? Are there enemies down here? Helmet crab. Nice. That's strange. I know. What's this? Hmm. Hang on a sec, what's that? What? There's something else here? I need to rescue Mikey. Wow, awesome! I threw a black hole. What the? I'm taking out enemies with it. Whoa! Wow, nice! Boom! One survived. Huh? Really? Is that the boss? Uh, I highly doubt it. It's still strong. Yeah, you're right. But I still don't think it's the boss. Oh, wait, Mikey. Look at this. Hmm? I think it's this way. The boss? Don't let your guard down. Huh? Are these the bosses? There's a whole bunch of them. Get out your bow. Huh? What's this? Oh, it's throwing axes. Pickaxes too. I hit it with an arrow. What are these things? There are too many. I'll throw a black hole. Sure. Oh, I thought there was a lot left, but there's only two of them. This bow and arrow is next level. Huh? Whoa! Wow! That was awesome! Good job! Now we have the boss's head. Sweet! Whoa! Okay, Mikey, we beat the Goblin Knight. Let's move on. Okay. Look. Hmm? What's that? This is the place where the Yeti lives. See? Yeti? It's like an abominable snowman. Let's go. It's a boss? I guess so. I don't see it. Oh! Wow. What is this thing? That's the Alpha Yeti. Run, Mikey. Why isn't it attacking? I'll attack it. Whoa. Huh? Did we win? This thing's pretty weak. <laughs> Help! Mikey! It threw me! Stop it! Hey! No! Wait! Ow! Wow, you got tossed again! Help me! Take that! Huh? I took it down. No way! Wait! I got captured by another Yeti! Help! Not again. Are you alright? Stop! Got him. Thanks. Well, we defeated the Yeti boss. Shall we move on? Yeah. Look. Hmm? Penguins and Pretty. the Aurora Tower. Whoa! What's up there? Incredible. Check out the ice. Awesome! The entrance. Let's go in. That's it? Whoa, cool! What's that? Huh? Wait, what? An invisible knight? There! Got him! Apparently there's a witch upstairs. Let's climb up. 
Okay, let's do this. Oh, this way. Let's go right to the top. Climb, climb, climb. I wonder if this boss will be difficult. What will they be like? There, we made it out. Huh? Where's the boss? Maybe in here? It's probably inside. Oh, I found it. It's the Snow Queen! She looks strong! This must be the boss! Use your bow and arrow! I'm on it! The arrows are deflecting! They're bouncing right back! That's not good! Ow! I'm being hit by my own arrows! Uh-oh! She's tough! Will we be okay? Absolutely! Ouch! I'm getting hit a lot! Let's try this! What? Black hole! Huh? Oh, wow! Will that beat her? It's hard to tell! Maybe she's too strong! <laughs> wow! One more hit! How'd she survive? I'll use my sword! Wow, that's powerful! Alright, the boss is down! Nice! We get so cold, we might freeze to death! We gotta get out of here! But how? Uh, <gasps> look! There's a ship over there! Come on, JJ! We can use it to escape! Great idea! <laughs> Let's get inside! Hurry! It's cold! No kidding, huh? Huh? What is it, JJ? Hold on a second. Why? Bad news, Mikey. This plan isn't gonna work. This ship is completely stuck in the ice. It's not going anywhere. What are we gonna do? I'm not sure. Ooh. Hey, Mikey. Yeah? Right now it's December, but maybe it will thaw in the summer. We just need to survive long enough for the ship to thaw out. Then we can escape from the Arctic. We can do it! It's not gonna be easy. Since it's December, we're gonna have to survive for eight months in this miserable cold. I feel like I'm gonna freeze to death. To top it off... I'm getting hungry! Our first priority... <gasps> is to find food and shelter if we're gonna survive. Yeah! Let's take a look around. Sounds good. Okay, fingers crossed. There's nothing here! What do we do? There's nothing here but snow and ice as far as the eye can see. What do we do? Wait, hang on. I think I see something. Right here, under this pile of snow. It looks like there's something made out of wood. I see it too. What could that be? We should investigate. Whoa, look, there's more wood in here. Mm. This thing is huge. Yeah. Come on, Mikey. Let's dig it out. What is it? I don't know. Keep digging. What could it be? I really hope there's food in here. Yeah. Huh? Whoa. Look. Hey, is that... A door! Yeah, I think it is. Is this a building? I think you're right, Mikey. This looks like a cottage. Whoa! What a find. Awesome. It's buried under all this snow. Let's clear the rest of it away. Yeah, let's dig it out. We'll make it look nice. All right, this might take us a while, but we're gonna uncover the whole building. There's so much snow. Almost done! Yep. Whoa! I can't believe we found this cottage. <laughs> yeah! I'll just clear this away. It's seriously looking good. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that! Awesome! Now that I can see it, this house is nice! Yeah! What is a cottage like this doing in the Arctic? Who knows? Hmm. Now we stand a chance of surviving! Let's venture inside. Okay. You first. Let's go! Yeah. What do you see in there? Wow! Oh, beds. It's a bit old. Cool. Anything else? Oh, look! Mikey, a chest! I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Whoa! Whoa! We have food! Great! And supplies! Sweet! Down the hatch! Uh, hold on a second. That's delicious! Mikey, stop! Don't eat those potatoes! Why? Seriously, Mikey, stop! Those aren't safe to eat! Huh? Slow down and take a closer look! Here! Huh? Do you see? No? They're all green and rotten! <gasps> the meat is rotten, too! No! It's all rotten. I guess they did taste funny. <laughs> oh, Mikey! I'm gonna be sick! Don't eat any more! Oh! I won't! Well… What a bummer! It looks like we don't have any food after all. Not good. Oh. But it's not a total bust. We still have some coal, a couple of stone shovels, and a bunch of uh. logs. Here, Mikey, take a shovel. Thanks!
Let's see. Sheesh, this place is a mess. This house is kind of disappointing. Yeah. There's got to be something else here, right? Did we miss something? Let's keep looking. Let's see. Hold on, what's that? Huh? There's a trap door. We must have missed it. What's on the other side? Let's see. Wow! It's a basement. Cool. Let's go in. Okay. I'm right behind you. Ouch! Whoa! Let's see. It's cold. Weird. Look. There's a chest over there and some armor. Let's go! Go! Ah! Yikes! Huh? Careful, Mikey. There are traps in the ground. We have to jump over them. Oh, scary! Yeah. Let me try. You can do it, Mikey. Ouch! Careful. Are you okay? Yeah. Good. We made it! Yeah. Anyways, it looks like there's two suits of leather armor here. Score! Perfect for the cold weather. Oh, you're right. Well, what do you say we try them on? Mm-hmm. It's a perfect fit. Yeah, and it's much warmer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't forget, there's the chest, too. Let's take a look inside. Whoa, awesome! There's raw meat in here. Sweet! Plus some gold ingots and ladders. Is the meat safe? Yep, it's not rotten. Nice! It was preserved by the cold. Oh! We can eat it. <laughs> but we should still cook it first. Let's go. Good point. Follow me. Yeah! Careful. Let's use those ladders to get back up. There we go. It's a good thing those ladders were there. Ready? Yep. All right. Without any further ado, it's time to cook this beef. Finally! Also, I had an idea. I think I can use these logs to build a fire. Oh! There we go. That should make this place much warmer. Wow, I feel warmer already. Yeah, me too. Let's check on the meat. Oh, it's done cooking. Here, Mikey. Oh, thank you. This time, it's safe to eat. Let's dig in. Delicious. Things are looking up, JJ. Yeah. I think we're gonna make it. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Things are looking good. But our food supply is kind of low. True. I'm not sure it'll be enough. Either way, it's getting dark out, Mikey. Let's go to bed. Yeah. Let's get some sleep. Good night. Night.